So hi guys, it's time for the e cup hot seat and you are not ready for what I have in store for you. Now if you do not know what is the most popping thing in Kenya right now, let me let you know what's up. Vibes Radio and I am in the studio for Vibes Radio and guess who I have with me? Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I told you, you are not ready. Personalities from here to the end of Africa. Hi, Chikikuru. Hey, how are you guys? Nice to see you. Look at this beautiful woman, first of all. Can we just celebrate? Can we just celebrate? Now I'm here blushing, but <laughs> we'll talk about my dress a bit later. Now let's talk about Vibes Radio. Hi, Heno, how are you doing? Good, I'm good. I'm good. I'm easy. This fit, yo, this fits you perfect. When I see reggae, you see Heno. When I see dancehall, I see Heno. How does it feel to be here? Exactly. It feels uh, good. It feels uh, nice to be home. I consider this home because now I'll, you know, in terms of my career, in terms of what I play, in terms of what I stand for, Vibes Radio is the place. So you're home? I'm home, man. Me there, man. Me, me home right now. Yeah, me good. Chiki Karuka, you love to dance. You yeah. love dancehall music. Yeah. Following on you on Instagram religiously, you know how much you just love this. How does it feel to finally be a radio host and doing that thing that you love the most with the music that you love the most? Yeah, it's so exciting, man. Like, I like the fact that it's audiovisual because for me, so much of dancehall is about dance. It's about movement. You learn about dancehall in the club. You learn about dancehall with movement. So I'm excited to bring that out because so far it's been the music and the dance and it's how do we bridge that gap a little bit and make them one massive celebration of the culture. And you are doing the drive show and it's yeah. four hours long. <laughs> Safe to say that this is the longest show. Yeah. Why is this the longest show? Well, I can guess you two, your personality is too much, couldn't fit into three or two hours, but help me understand, why are you guys four hours? I mean, we have a lot that we want to get through. So it's not just going to be music. We're going to be talking about the youths, about what makes them tick, about how to inspire, how to encourage, how to, um, you know, talk about things that, you know, we might be talking about in kitchens, we might be talking about in, you know, uh, clubs, in, in schools. How do we bring that onto radio and have proper conversations with young people, uplift them? How do we challenge some of the attitudes that are out there already? Um, we're going to be talking wellness, we're going to be talking about mental health, and we're going to have great music as well. So there's a lot packed into a four-hour segment. Right. I know you've been on radio before. Yeah. You've been in. We've seen you, we've heard you, you've been all over the place. How are you feeling that we are embracing dancehall music right now? Um, it's a good look because, you know, compared to earlier on years, a reggae and a dancehall will make you a, a certain demography and all that. But now everybody's embracing it. We have a dedication, a dedicated radio station like Vibe that strictly promotes dancehall and reggae music. So it's a good look. It's a, it's a wonderful time to be alive. It's a wonderful time for dancehall and reggae in Kenya and for the world. Is it just me? I feel like if you don't speak in Swahili, I forget that you are just a Kenyan. I'm like, okay, conscience, go on, go on. I'm here for all of it. And then when you speak in Swahili, I'm back. Oh, oh yeah, it's Heno. You bring me back real quick. But I'm so tired. I'm so tired. You know, you trying to be modest, conscience. No. <laughs> so, I'm so area, but you know, um, I've interacted with a lot of Jamaican artists. You know, I've interacted with a lot of producers and everybody. So, it's part of the work. Ni in career to wear. Yeah. Chiki, you love to dance. Yeah. Are we going to be seeing a lot of that here in the studio? Yeah, so I want to bring up a lot of the dance politics. So we are going to be doing dance challenges. And don't forget, this is audio visual, so you can connect with us online. It's not just on radio. So we want to bring out the visual aspect of it. And dance is one of the most powerful visual aspects, but not just dance. I mean, we are going to be doing matatu storms. We are going to be interacting with as many people as possible, bringing out personalities and using the culture that we love, dancehall and reggae, just as a tool to do that. So what new vibe should... Okay, so I feel like uh, if you look at the world en masse, you don't talk about reggae and dance without talking about soca. And in, the, in Kenya in particular, there's not a big soca culture. So what I really want to do is bring out the importance of soca. It's all from the Caribbean islands. It's all love, peace, unity. Um, and, and soca is one of the angles that we haven't used yet, especially with the energy. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to bring out my love for soca. I started everything as a soca dancer. So yeah, it's a big passion of mine. Chiki has a lot in store for you, Hannah. Mm -hmm. What about you? Whatever Chiki has said. <laughs> <laughs> but just to add, you know, um, we're going to have exclusive interviews, exclusive chats on Vibes Radio, you know. ZJ Heno got the links, you know, so definitely we're going to have that on the show. And also, Swagia mix, you know, different mixing, you know, and uh, I'm a professional DJ, so yeah, you just have to tune in, man. Yeah, yeah. Let them know what time the show is. Yeah. Let them know. Three to seven. Yeah. What do you mean? 
every Monday to Friday. <laughs> 3 to 7 p.m., guys. 3 to 7. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> if you are stuck in traffic at home, 3 to 7 p.m., make sure you tune in to Vibes Radio. There's a lot in store for you. So let's talk about Vibes Cartel. <laughs> you know, you know, you cannot talk about dance hall and this kind of music without talking about Vibes Cartel. You know, he has quite a following. He's still in prison, but he's still doing music and he has quite an influence on the youth. What do you think about Vibes Cartel as people who are also very strong and big followers of the music? Yeah. What do you think? Um, I think Vibes Cartel, uh, people judge him a lot. And the guy came out and said he's an entertainer. He's one of the top, we're one of the top Jamaica's entertainers ever, trust me. So. Um, um, we're just waiting for, they're now in the process of appealing and all that, but you know, in Jamaica you can still voice and record even if you're in prison and all that, what so, yeah, if your vibe is your if you're Jack Hewer, you can do that, you know, so we're just waiting on that, you know, I can't really comment on that because it's a court thing, court thing and it's going on, but, you know, Bob Skater is the king, you know, we're just waiting for him to come, you know. Are your sentiments the same? <laughs> Yes and no. So let me just tell you, I love Vibes. I think Vibes is probably my top five dancehall artist of all time. I think it's amazing how in prison he seems to be bringing out even better music than when he was out. Like, he's, he's just incredible. Um, I think Vibes understands the street, Vibes understands the culture. Actually, Vibes is part of the culture. So, um, yeah, the court thing we can't comment on at, at all. But Vibes has led the way. I mean, he did a cartoon video when people were not doing cartoon videos, yabba dabba do. You know, like he has really just been ahead of the trend. And I just look forward to hearing and seeing more. And as a dancer, I pay homage to him because he gives us beats that we can dance to. There was a time dance all got a little bit slow. Vibes was still giving us beats that we could move to, so. And you said it's part of your top five. So can we get to know who is top five on Chica's list? Gosh, okay, so obviously I have to shout out to the ladies. I'll have Spice in there. Um, I would have, yeah, Vibes. I would have Alkaline, I love him. Um, I would have, hmm, Shensea. And then I think my last one, Conscience. Can't not have Conscience. <laughs> all right, all right. Heno, who are your favorites? Oh man, I'd go with the coffee. She's relatively new, but uh, Kofi, you know, I like the path uh, she's taking. Definitely, I'm um, Team Chronics, you know. Um, I'll go in the one drop segment and the reggae artists a lot. Um, so, Chronics, Kofi, uh, Rumin Vago, Miril Bridgin, Taras. Uh, if you go old school, I'll go with the Berez, Freddie McGregor. Buju, Luciano, any list is endless. I don't think this is the right question for Heno because we can stay here the whole day, him <laughs> listing and listing. I wasn't allowed to do reggae artists. Like, if oh, yeah, okay. no reggae artists, okay. we would have gone on for a while because I've seen Buju in concert twice. Um, yeah, Chronix, I think he's one of the best performers. And I don't mean reggae performers, I just mean performer. Like, uh, Chronix is it. Damien Marley, again, is also an incredible performer. He uses screens, imagery, everything. Uh, I'm the biggest, biggest Beres fan. Luciano as well, I love him. Um, Taurus, you can't ignore. Um, oh God, there's so many. Like, to, when you've listened to something your whole life, yeah. to say limited to just five is, yeah, it's very hard, yeah. it's very hard. You need to tune into the show so you can get to hear music from all those people that they mentioned, because I was floating at some point, but well, I'll be <laughs> tuning in. I'm like, I'm just here trying to do my job. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I don't know who that is, but oh yeah. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, you need to tune in Vibes Radio every single day of the week, 3 to 7 p.m. And you're going to hear all that amazing music right here. And reggae is very much celebrated in Kenya. Like, anytime there's a concert for reggae, the numbers are... Okay. Yes. Even when you bring whoever from the United States, you can still not compare to the numbers that the reggae artists bring, even when they come here twice. Why do you think so? I think it's uh, in the quality of performance, yeah. and also guys get their money's worth, you know. Like, come when you you go get a three hour, two and a half hour performer. You know, it's not like, no disrespect to guys who use playback and That's DJs. Yeah, live band is so I think that's really in the Ingia Kawa Kenya plus the Manzaku on the Isma Festival come Koroga and other festivals that are using live band. So it's being instilled in Kenyans and reggae artists are the best, one of the best artists and performances to to do that, you know. So I think guys are just falling in love with that. They perform until morning. Yeah. I went to a reggae concert at <laughs> 6 a.m. I'm like, can we go home? I try thanks, thanks. As in I feel like my mind is exhausted now. So reggae DJs play a big role also at the concert. So ni, Two way. Kill him down as Yeah. All right. 
Thank you so much for talking to us. I am so excited for Vibes Radio. Are you excited back at home? You better be. Look at these two personalities, four hours on your stereo. Are you even ready? So can you just tell them something? Just tell them, tell them, tell them why they should tune in. No, no, no. It, it's going to be easier for me to ask why not. Oh. Everything is going to be in these four hours. There is no reason not to tune in, man. That's it. What do you have to tell your hey. people? Monday to Friday, 3 to 7. Simple as that. You know ZJ Heno, him now play, him the baddest. So, Vibes Ready is the place to be. Monday to Friday, 3 to 7. Cheeky ZJ Heno. Boom. All right. It's been a whole mood kicking it with Cheeky and ZJ Heno. And they will be coming through every single day of the week right here on Vibes Radio from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. You better not miss out. Thank Iker for putting you on the know. That's exactly what we do. Get tri- I have told you once and I'm going to tell you again that the hottest big thing in Kenya right now is Vibes Radio and right about now I am joined by Nazizi the queen first we have to give respect for the queen in the building like for real Nazizi like, it's such an honor to be in your presence I'm not even gonna lie because I used to listen to Nazizi when I was a kid and then right about now I'm here interviewing her good job and I'm so happy so forgive me when I get starstruck how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, yeah. good, yeah. Positive vibes and good vibes good only. Vibes only. Yeah. And also, on my right, I have Ras Riddick. Hi, Ras Riddick. What's up? How you doing? Good. I see you got the memo. Yeah. Red, red yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not Ankara yeah, today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So let's talk about Vibes Radio mm. and your show, yep. Season Circle. Yes. Help us understand. So pretty much Season Circle, uh, it means seize. It means, first of all, you need to keep calm and stop Rasta. And settle, it means you need to settle down, catch your breath. So f- for us, our show is going to be 7 to 10 p.m. every day. And we call it Season Circle because we want people to kick back, sit back, and enjoy, have a breath of fresh air with what's ever happening in the Vibes Radio c- studios right now. Yeah, yeah, and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to hear how that oh. goes. Nazizi, you have entertained us all your life through music, necessary noise back in the day. And now you're entertaining us, but now through a different way did you ever see this coming not in a million years honestly um but i'm so so excited to be here because um spreading a positive message to the youth is what i'm all about and i'm just looking at this as another platform to do what i've been doing i've been doing it through music and now i can do it through talking and uh I just hope that you know this journey is going to be as exciting as my the last 21 years of my music career. I've achieved so much and so this is like a new thing for me which I'm really looking forward to killing by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what vibes should we expect from Nazizi every single Monday to Friday on Vibes Radio? A lot of straight fire vibes you know we want to change the way the youths are thinking we want to change the perception that the youths can make a difference but they never make a difference so we're here to fire you up and to get the revolution started and so monday to friday 7 to 10 p- 7 to 10 p.m we're challenging you guys to listen to the show to learn more about africa and we're connecting you know it's nairobi to the world and because it's live stream, we're going to bring a big reggae community together. So just expect a lot of knowledge, a lot of uplifting, a lot of inspiration, a lot of good roots. And, you know, that's the show we're running is the Roots show. So, yeah, I think everybody's uh, going to be as excited as we um, to listen. And, yeah, just stay tuned. It's 104.5 in Nairobi. And you can live stream us on www.vibesradio.co.ke. I how does it feel working with Nazizi? Being paired to work with Nazizi? Because if it were me, I would still it feels not. Awesome. And at the same time, it feels kind of scary because I've been a big fan, a really big fan of Naz. From like, <laughs> not even from Bless My Room, like <laughs> from way back. So. Personally, it's really, really a good. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be a great journey. I believe it's gonna be a lot of Rastafari talk in it, cause we're gonna bring the repatriation in it, and also on top of that, we're gonna make sure like the conscious is awakened, cause m- most youth conscious right now is kind of sleeping, and we need to awaken it. So yeah, make sure you tune into uh, 104.5 Nairobi, 98.8 Nyeri, uh, 107.7 LD, 
Yeah, make sure you tune in because it's gonna be straight fire, Rasta. Nothing else. And you else. said something really important there. Yeah. The conscious and the youth right now is not quite so awakened. Yeah. Why do you think that is so? Because like at the moment, you can just see what's happening around us. We have youths, you know, jobless. You have a lot of things happening around us that are not morally in the society. So yeah, we're gonna try and make sure the youths are enlightened so that we can have a change in that. We need to, the youths now, nowadays, they do have a voice, but they do not know that their voice is being heard. So they need to speak up. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna help them speak up to our media, uh, yes. So Nazizu, I'm sure someone is gonna ask this question, so let me just ask it for them. So should we expect some more new music from Nazizi? Or now yeah, you're just yeah. gonna be presenting? No, first and foremost, Nazizi is all about music and I've never stopped doing music. You can go to my YouTube channel, um, Nazizi Hirji, go to my IG, Nazizi Hirji, you can see some of the projects I've been working on. A lot of new music, a lot of new reggae music as well um, so this is gonna be something I'm very passionate about but I'm still very passionate about music as well so yeah definitely there's gonna be more and more music coming from me all right we are looking forward to new music from Nazizi and so many people look up to you and now that you are on this new journey they're still going to be following closely what advice do you have for you um, the, my biggest advice is don't waste your youth on unnecessary things um, I can like sit here and and say I'm a good example I started doing music when I was 15 years old um, it's more than 21 years later and I'm still here and this is how I landed here by being real to what I believe in and standing and every day working towards something that I love so what I'll tell the youth is never 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 bow down to nothing that you don't believe in keep believing in yourself even when people don't believe in you nobody believed I could rap that's why I did mama mama nataka kwa rapper because everybody used to laugh at me when I say I could do it they're like you're a girl this is Kenya no one's ever done it blah 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 but look at me I'm here 21 years later I'm on vibes radio good vibes only so what I'm gonna say is keep believing in yourself no matter what and you're gonna make it I'm going to give you this chance to let the viewers know why they need to tune in to Vibes Radio every single day of uh, the week. You need to Here tune is in. your chance. Let them know. <laughs> well, simply, I need to tune in because, first of all, we're going to make sure the youth have a voice in this country we're living in at the moment. And on top of that, it's going to be nothing but straight fire rasta. Because it's me, Nazizi, and I can of I in the same studio. So best believe I'm going to be giving you experiences where she has had, she's going to be informing us on a lot. And I'm going to be giving you experiences where I have had, because I've been in the industry in like for a minute and a lot of things are going. So make sure you tune in and listen to it because it's going to be straight fire. I can't say nothing. I can't say a lot because tonight it's the first night, so it's going to be fire. It's going to be fire. So there you go. Enough reason why you need to tune into Vibes Radio every single day of the week from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Nazizi in the building, Ras Riddick in the building. The youth, you have voice through this show. What excuse do you have for not tuning in? I don't know. This is Iker. Stay tuned. Vibes Radio.